Buongiorno, welcome to Bazzali TV. I'm David Bazzali and aujourd'hui on y va cuisiner ensemble tous ces belles pâtes fraîches from Il Bazzali restaurant. Let's go. Bazzali TV! Aujourd'hui, je vais faire une émission trilingue. Je vais essayer, je vais faire mon mieux. I'm gonna do my best. Mais avant de commencer, please just subscribe to my channel. Grazie. I decided to make this uh, uh, episode because uh, a lot of people ask me what is the best way to cook uh, the pasta that uh, they can uh, uh, buy at my restaurant. Today I'm gonna show you uh, how to cook our uh, ravioli that are already half cooked and uh, our homemade pappardelle. Uh, these are all uh, uh, egg pasta, uh, how we make it in Parma. Please go check uh, my first uh, episode on uh, the tagliatelle with butter and parmigiano. This way you can see how to make it uh, at home. I want to start uh, right away with uh, the ravioli alla parmigiana. These are traditional of the uh, city and territory of uh, Parma, uh, where I grew up. Ravioli. 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 <laughs> Ravioli. <laughs> Ravioli. <laughs> Ravioli. <laughs> Ravioli. <laughs> I'm gonna add some salt to the water and as we always say, don't be scared about to put enough salt. I'm gonna show it here. This is the quantity for this water. Si vous êtes pas sûr à propos de la quantité de sel que vous ajoutez dans l'eau, il faudrait le goûter et il faudrait toujours penser que ça doit goûter comme l'eau de la mer. C'est pas l'homme qui prend la mer, c'est la mer qui prend l'homme. Pour le ravioli à la parmigiana, ça va prendre à peu près un couple de minutes pour être cuit. Now that my ravioli are cooking, I'm gonna start the sauce. Uh, I got directly also the seasoning from uh, the restaurant. Le beurre à la sauce que vous pouvez acheter chez nous directement. And I'm just gonna put it in the pan directly like this. I add a little bit of spinach, a little bit of cherry tomatoes. And now that my ravioli are ready, I'm just gonna add it in the pan and uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of water from the cooking. And now I'm gonna let it simmer. Je vais juste le laisser mijoter pour quelques, quelques instants jusqu'à le beurre il va être complètement fondu. Et vous allez voir que euh, le beurre à la sauge plus l'eau de cuisson plus naturellement les pâtes fraîches, they're going to knit together and to make a kind of a little cream à Parma, normalement on ne fait pas ces passages-là. On les assaisonne directement euh, seulement dans l'assiette avec un petit peu de beurre et parmigiano. I was uh, reading a book from uh, a great historian, Massimo Montanari. He's an historian specialized on food that I really suggest, Massimo Montanari. And he was saying that uh, basically butter and uh, parmigiano was uh, the uh, the seasoning that uh, uh, has always been used uh, uh, traditionally in Italy. Of course, before that uh, the tomatoes were introduced. Alors maintenant ils sont parfaits. Je vais juste faire mes petites assiettes. Add a little bit of parmesan on top. I ravioli e la parmigiana sono pronti. Buon appetito! E maintenant je vais vous montrer comment cuire au mieux les ravioli à la Toscana. I tortelli, beh, yeah. I tortelli alla Toscana. Uh... Ravioli. Ravioli actually means stuffing. The actual name of the pasta is tortelli, from torte, like a pie with a filling. But over time, language evolves, and internationally as well as in Italy, ravioli came to be the name used to describe this pasta. There are a few regions in Italy that still use the traditional word 
tortelli to describe the pasta. Tortelli. Tor 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 These are ravioli traditional of uh, where I'm born in uh, the north of Tuscany in Lunigiana and it's a recipe that we share also with uh, other territory in Tuscany and for sure uh, the territory of uh, Lucca is just au sud de la Lunigiana de l'autre côté de ces grandes montagnes les Alpes apuane où uh, on prend le marbre where uh, where the the the, the marble unfortunately is carved they are kind of this they are destroying the mountain so good not good anyway and uh, this uh, ravioli is stuffed with uh, a trio of braised meat so pork veal and uh, beef my water is still boiling and now i'm gonna cook directly the ravioli alla toscana the cooking for this is very similar to the ravioli alla parmigiana. Ça va prendre vraiment comme uh, deux petites minutes. Peut-être ça prend un tout petit peu plus de ravioli alla parmigiana parce que le, la farce à l'intérieur c'est une farce de viande et ça prend juste un petit peu de plus pour vraiment la ramener à la bonne température. I got directly the sauce that you can buy at the restaurant, uh, a bolognese sauce. And I'm sure you are thinking, wow, meat inside, meat outside, well, yeah. This uh, uh, for sure is a staple for uh, Christmas time, for uh, marriages, or in any case, as you understand, for big uh, celebrations. Même les pauvres dans ces, gens, dans ces, ces jours là ils mangeaient la viande et sûrement ils mangeaient beaucoup de viande. Même euh, qu'une pâte farcie de, de viande était servie avec une sauce de viande. Now my ravioli are perfectly cooked and I'm just gonna add it to my sauce that I started to heat before. Now as you can see my ravioli are perfect and we are going to make our voilà. I ravioli alla Toscana sono pronti, buon appetito! Et maintenant, je vais vous montrer comment on fait pour cuire au mieux les pappardelles que vous pouvez toujours acheter chez Il Bazzali. Uh, we are located at the 285 Bobien East and uh, we are open every day. Alors vous pouvez nous appeler chaque jour pour uh, avoir nos fantastiques assiettes déjà prêts à manger chez vous. Ou sinon, on a aussi un service de épicerie. The épicerie <laughs> That was really bilingue. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's go with the pasta. Come sei bella, più bella stasera, Mario. Splende un sorriso di stella negli occhi tuoi blu. Anche se avverso il destino domani sarà. Oggi ti sono vicino perché sospira. Non pensare, parlami d'amore, Mario. Tutta la mia vita sei tu. E gli occhi tuoi belli brillano come due stelle scintillano. E dimmi che illusione non è. Dimmi che sei tutta per me, il sul tuo cuore non ne soffro più, parlami d'amore Mario. So the best way to heat your sauce is to add a little bit of water from the cooking. 
So che una bella e magliarda sirena sei tu. So che si perde chi guarda con gli occhi tuoi blu. Ma che mi importa se il mondo si burla di me. Meglio nel gorgo profondo ma sempre con te. Sì, con te, parlami d'amore, Mario, tutta la mia vita sei tu, e gli occhi tuoi belli brillano come due stelle scintillano. E dimmi che illusione non è, dimmi che sei tutta per me. Qui sul tuo cuor non ne soffro più, parlami d'amore, ma... The song of that we just sang is 3 minutes and 12, so I would say that here we need uh, uh, totally a 4 minutes of cooking. Don't forget that we are going to cook it more in the pan. So you should always uh, think that, uh, okay, if my, even if I buy a spaghetti in the store or, or, uh, or else, uh, if uh, it said uh, seven minutes, I should always think how long uh, it's gonna stay in the pan before being served. You can always try to balance a little bit uh, your time of cooking. Alors j'ai ajouté un petit peu d'eau de cuisson, je le fais bien réchauffer. Now I'm just gonna cut a little bit of fresh basil. It's really nice to have a, a little punch of fresh herbs right at the end. Just like that. And you're gonna put already your cheese in the pan. I turned off the heat. Et je vais le sauter encore un instant comme ça. On va ajouter d'autres parmigiano par-dessus. A little more cheese. The fresh basil. And a little bit of olive oil. Amazing. Ecco qua, le pappardelle al sugo di pomodoro e parmigiano sono pronte. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, aimez cette vidéo, partagez et j'espère que ça va vous aider à préparer nos assiettes au mieux. Bonne journée. Ciao. Hey, David. Pappardelle. Pappardelle. Papardelle, 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 papardelle